What's up, Buck? I am Doug with d and &E in the garage. Uh, I just finished shooting a video over there on some imported cars, and now we're walking to the other side of the yard. Look at that. Dub J. Yeah, Toyota. Don't know what that is. WK. Point is, we're getting into the domestic trucks and cars. This is going to be a video at Harry's u pull in Allentown, New... Nope, not New Jersey. Pennsylvania. Uh, I don't even need anything in there, I'm being honest with you. Well, I always need Jeep stuff, but don't need anything particular. We're just going to walk around and see if we can find any rusty, dusty, crusty gems. And if not, well, we'll enjoy looking at some cars. Maybe we'll see some classic cool stuff. I see a uh, Astro van with a conversion top. I see a worked Ranger. So let's get in there and have some fun. Now, this isn't going to be just uh, domestic trucks. I do believe they got import SUVs. Yep, there you go. There's a Hyundai. Here's a little Chero car. Oh, what? 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 Oh, I finally found one. I finally found a right-hand drive Chero car in the yard. 10 out of 10, that's so cool. So, same engine setup, but kind of swerped so that, you know, you got a uh, uh, the steering stuff. Super cool, man. What's so weird is the differential is still normal. It just the the drag link is backwards. Can you see that? The the Y link because obviously the fitment arm's over there. Oh man, that's cool. I've never seen one of these in the yard before. I think that's true. Maybe I have. I don't know. WJ right next to us. We'll get to you, bud. So um, you could buy these in the U.S. and they used them as mail vehicles mail jeeps and uh, this one was clearly well loved it's a 2000 it was the four-wheel drive unit uh, a lot of the mail ones are actually two two we uh doors um because you don't necessarily need the back do door but very cool i'm trying to think if there's anything about these that is rare that people would want i don't think so it's the same diff the steering stuff is all the same it's just backwards obviously this dash is interesting but i can't really see pull in it just because it's interesting but cool yeah very cool it's actually a pretty clean 4.0 somebody took the throttle body off it's funny this uh huh i don't know any who's it that's about it here's a uh here's a dub j oh, if these weren't broken i actually need some of these for willie but are this one's not in too bad shape it's no four this is actually a really good view of the um the gas tank skid this is one of the biggest problems on wj's at least up where i am in the rust belt it just rots out because oh yeah this is a really great example of it so this actually this um gas tank skid plate if you will holds the gas tank in as well the gas tank sits in there it's got some um uh, right here you can see that the remnants of the uh, straps, you can see they clip through them right there. Anyway, you get all kinds of rusty, crusty, dusty, ugly stuff in here. You can see it all, all right? Yeah, that's just, see, that's just um, dust, you know, silt dust from the road and everything. It gets up in there and it just rots it out and they just fall right out. And these tanks will actually fall out on a guy. I've seen that before. It's a shame. <laughs> I've seen that. I've done that. I've been at the gas station ratchet strapping my gas tank back in. Uh, my point is... If you find one that's clean in the yard, pull it because you, you're going to need it or somebody's going to need it. And if you buy one of these, spend the, the money. Uh, Dorman makes one that is significantly thinner, but it's also a quarter the price of the Mopar one. So I'd rather change the Dorman one every three years, five years, than buy the Mopar one. That's just me, though. Anyway, trail rated. Yeah, my arse. Oh, this thing did have a lifty lifty, though. Those are about two and a half inch pucks. What is this coil? What does that go to? Weird. Anybody know what that goes to? Uh, cool. So he had some pucks. He had some nice spring isolators, all things considering. Nobody ever changes the spring isolators, so these would actually be a good find, but I'm not in parts collection mode right now. Uh, between you, me, and the tree, we got another executive producer on the way. So uh, I'm trying to thin out a little bit, make some room. Next couple years will be, you know, doing the newborn thing. So um, usually I would take these in a heartbeat. I'm not going to this time. Okay, he's got them in the back too. The isolators are pretty good. 
shocks are not great, but they don't look blown. So if somebody was looking for a cheap lift on a dub J, that'd be the way to go. All right, what else we got here? Some OBS. Ooh, buddy, the 1500. Bourbon, barn doors. No, yeah, barn doors. It's a good looking truck right there, I tell you what. Oh, with a 350. Yeah, buddy. Gosh darn. I get behind one of them. Saturn, another company I was talking about in the last video. All the awesome brands that had to be killed off because GM is bad at running a company. We covered uh, Hummer, we covered Holden, we covered Pontiac is the big one, and then Saturn. Saturn is a great idea for cars. Let's make affordable cars that are not flashy, they're plastic where they can be so that they last and are easy to work on and easy to fix. They're great first person cars, you know, uh, first, 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 like first driver cars. Saturn was an amazingly good idea. And uh, because GM is not a fully formed company even after a hundred friggin' years, they didn't make it, shame. Here's a cool Chevy though. Took a big dinger, no big deal. There we go. Custom poker tables? Okay, that's um, huh, it's a large enough business that you can, oh, well, why is there, oh yeah, I forgot, not just domestics, it's Tacoma. You know times are getting tough when you even see a Tacoma in the yard, right? Now the question is, does this one belong in the yard? Kinda doesn't look like it, does it? I mean, it's trash now, it's had the five speed. Trans feels pretty good. Frame doesn't look worse than any other frame around here. Yeah, right there, it's a little soft, but. Nah, man, that's solid. You know, I got no love for these things, but I am surprised that it's here. You'd think, I mean, usually a truck that looks like this, even if the motor was blown. Yeah, that frame is mint. That's just dust, right? Road dust, settling. I am super surprised this thing is here. The motor would have to be blown, right? Or do you think this did it? Just a little digger right there, right? And then she got totaled out, I don't know. But you know times are tough when you even see a clean Tacoma in the yard. What else we got here? Jimmy! <laughs> I used to think it was so weird as a kid that there was a truck named Jimmy. <laughs> uh, it's the first gen exploder. Back when they actually were exploders. Oh, my Leatherman just forked up on me. Huh. Can't imagine why. It's not like I bang it against frames every time I gotta see if they're solid. Uh, first gen exploder, back when they used to actually explode. Those sassy American racings, right? 1992 for real. Four liter. Yeah, that's the four liter, right? It's not the five. Oof. That is. <laughs> that valve cover, man. Holy hell, Burton. Yeah, these things are pretty cool. 10 out of 10. Goes without saying, right? These are the first Eddie Bowers. Oh, look at this one. What a sassy setup, man. That looks comfy to drive. Oh, I'm going to need to get in there. Screw this. Oh, gosh. Yo. Yeah. Oh, I could get behind this. Beautiful sunroof. All right. Let's get out of here. Someone probably died in this seat. Huh. All right. So much crap in my pocket. I can't get out the door. What else we got? There's another Zij. What's a ZJ? You gotta ask, you can't afford it. Oh yeah, goes without saying. Oh yeah, got lift springs in there. Wonder how much of a lift. Man, it is gonna be hard to leave lift springs behind. Wow, this thing was weirdly clean, right? Gotta love this. Where do you think that was going to? <laughs> Uh, oh, there's uh, maybe a uh, power for the, um, yeah, 
Okay. Yeah, ZJ's do trailer lights a little weird, so like they just don't have a dedicated plug. Anyway, this thing's probably a 5.2 on the one for that. Yep. There you go. Got your K&N. That's how you know she's good. Missing the... Uh... Just had to make sure. I was worried for a second it might be a Niner. Huh. I don't love the gray interior, but... Not the end of the world either, right? Wonder what she had right here. Something. Some fancy little bit. Oh, this is a Select Track ZJ. Those aren't um, all that common. I think that means it's a late model. Yep, 97. There you go. Yeah, bud. I've never daily to ZJ. It's on the old to-do list. If, uh, if the world wasn't falling apart right now, I might try to get that blue one from Eric. See if you let me daily that one for a little bit, but now's not the time. I think he's just gonna sell that one. It's probably the way to go with it. Uh, here's another uh, Dub J. I'm guessing by the color that it's a 1999. Let's see if I'm right. Maybe a 2000. 2003. I was way off, but all of this. Oh man, hold on. Okay, I'm gonna hold our breath because if this has the old man emu lift I've wanted forever on. The I guarantee it was there. I just guarantee it. This had the old man emu springs that I've wanted my entire life. I wonder if this thing has any other goodies. Let's see. Terraflex. Now oh, there's no way it had an ARB, right? Nah, it's just a Dana 35 back there. So maybe I'm wrong, because these look like the rear springs, right? Yeah, never mind. Oh man, I got excited for a minute. Those aren't old man emu springs, are they? Can't tell. I don't think so, though. They look decidedly stock. I think this guy just uh, had access to a sticker store. This Jeep confuses me. Why put all those stickers on it? It's dead stock, you know? Unknown Off-Road Association. Let's see, are these the wheels? They are the wheels. Just normal ass tires, so I don't know. Oh well, we tried. Here's Patriot. I wonder if my sister needs anything for hers. Probably. She probably does. Oh, Motorb's falling out of this one. <laughs> it's okay. Tell you what, I should pull that motor. Spare for my sisters. Here you go. The last big American truck with big American truck cred. The Expedition. I know, suburban. Yada, yada, yada. Not even the Durango, man. The Expedition's the last true big American truck left. I'm just talking out of my butt. I don't know why I say stuff like that. It's really just to be inflammatory. Here we go. Another dub J. What? Why? Oh, God. So... Oh, boy. There's lots to unpack there. Okay, well, it doesn't look good. But it does look like it was made for this. I think the only reason it doesn't line up is because the whole front is scooched. But, yep, that is some kind of Chinesium aftermarket WJ part. My God. Bad. Let's, uh... Oh, you know what? Here. like the smallest Spectre filter they make for your 4.0. There you go. That's what the uh, owner of this Jeep thought WJ should look like in the front. 
I, uh, oh God, chrome everywhere. Chrome don't go. Just looks good when you're sitting on the side of the road. Nice hitch in there. No chance you're getting that out. Somebody was already trying. Someone was trying. My goodness. Here's this thing. 2002. Year of our Lord, 2002. Had some uh, butt connector in uh, trailer and lights though. So, you know, that's good. This guy liked his fishing. Oh, this guy was into fishing and chrome. And not much else. I think I get it. I think I get what he was going for. It's not for me. Doesn't look like he did a darn thing on the inside, but. All right, well, friends, hope he was. Quadra Track 2. Oh, phone's going. Hello? Oh, goodness gracious. We bought my mother one of these Jeeps. And uh, uh, it's got an electrical issue where every once in a while, so it starts up fine if it's cold. Even when it's warm, it starts up fine most of the time. But um, sometimes, so you start the car at the house, let's say, drive to the mall, it's now half hour away. You turn it off, you go in the mall for 10 minutes, you come out, it won't start for a while. It'll, it's no crank, no start, uh, no power to the starter. What I assume is happening is there's a hairline crack in an electrical connection. And when it's warm, it opens up and, and doesn't make contact. It must be only on the starting circuit though, because it never kills the car. So it's not on a fuel pump circuit. It's not on the ignition circuit. It's just the starter. Uh, it's not the starter itself though. When there's 12 volts to the starter, it clicks every time. I've repinned a bunch of stuff in the starting system inspected, cleaned, grounds, all this, I cannot figure it out. It's an 07 WK with the 37. And uh, boy, is it annoying, because I thought I had it licked after I repinned everything. It's been about a month since we had an issue, but she just called to tell me. She's DOA, you know, uh, at a store on her lunch break. And uh, thankfully, as we were talking, though, it kicks, it starts up again. You know, it just, something is intermittently giving it a no crank and, annoying i mean you know it's mom's jeep so you know you never want to leave moms out there hanging you're supposed to take care of moms anyway chrysler electrical am i right uh, i've spent so much of my life defending chrysler and i've come up with a um a retort for every single thing every arrow you could sling at me when it comes to chrysler i can't i got nothing for their electrical especially in the past 20 years why this? Okay, so is this something part of the bumper where these slide in and actuate the, um, like an airbag or something? What's going on with that? That's weird to me. I think it is. That's what it is. We're almost done here. Here's this Forerunner, right? 1991 Forerunner. 1991 Forerunner. I guarantee someone somewhere would go absolutely gaga for this thing. It's even still got the Motorb unit. V6 Rio EFI, I don't know, is that a good motor? Some Toyota fanboy will tell me. The nicest thing I can say about it is that they're not ugly. But, very few cars in 1991 work, so. I'm sorry. You're just never gonna trick me into loving Toyota. It just is what it is. What I will, uh, <laughs> nobody cares about your stick family. My wife would appreciate that so much. She's a horror fan. Probably why she married me. <laughs> Not funny, hits a little too close to home. Don't make fun of me. Sorry. Uh, looks like a pretty generic dub J. Let's see, based on color and rims, which I can't see the wheels. I don't know, I'm guessing it's an 03. Let's see, it's got the four liter. Uh, can't say grill's not there. All the used things I would use to distinguish are gone. It's an 03. Ha! I swear I didn't see that. That would be a fun game to play. Someday, we'll get maybe me and Eric. Let's get Project Dan out here. Get my buddy Brad. And we'll just do blind taste test on cars, right? See who can uh, identify the best. Most cars just from whatever you get what I'm going. 
It's one of my favorite things to do. Oh, a dually. That's another thing you rarely see in the yard is a dually. This is an old Chevy, which means it's probably got 454 in it. Silverado. Oh, oh God, look at the beef. Look at the beef. Yeah, this is cool, man. I actually really like it when Chevy makes dualies because I like gasser dualies. And Chevy's one of the only people that bothers making gasser dualies, mostly because they don't know how to make a diesel. They don't. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Dave. I'm sorry. Nobody wants Duramax, right? Oh, God. If you're not already a Chevy fan, there's no chance you're signing on for a Duramax. Am I right? Just made some enemies in the comments. I know that much. Let's see. Stay. Last thing I want is this dually. Oh, on my damn head here. Let's see. I'm not a GM fan, so I just don't know. 100 gallons. Nothing? No? Come on, give me a damn hint. Brake master. Man, well, did the front of this get pushed in or is that really the clearance they gave for the AC pump? I'm guessing this front got pushed in some. It's weird, man. This truck don't really look you Well, maybe it does. So the frame is not, it's not a Sunday frame yet. It's not holy. And uh, I know from experience, from dickering around with that avalanche, you can get all this front end stuff. 500 bucks, they'll send you new A-arms, this bottom one, torsion bar mounts and everything. Uh, inside looks pretty decent. Oh, wow. Yeah, full bench in the back. Yeah, bud. Huh, why that? like sandpaper glued on or is that roofing I don't, I don't know what I'm looking at some kind of custom they didn't feel the need to do it over here what year is this thing 1997 all right I know in 97 they were still putting the 454 in these things I just don't know I just, I just don't know what to do with myself. What's that? Uh, white stripes, right? Someone took uh, the computadora. That's the other thing. It's it's EFI, full on EFI. I guess '97 obviously would have been. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not a GM guy, but I suspect this is a 454. 454 with the four on the floor. Deuce Coop coming at you. Avoid in the capture. That is the best song to get a speeding ticket to. It's called uh, Pedal to the Metal by Kazer. Super obscure um, R&B song from when I was younger. Put the pedal to the metal and you're off. But not again. Oh, it's a good song. I'm not a huge rap fan, but no, that's not true. I, I, I like rap. I like good rap. There just happens to be an awful lot of bad rap. All right, now I'm dawdling because, uh, well, we're done. But I don't really want to leave yet. I was about to run out of here. Oh, no, you know what? Skip this one. There's a, uh, a ZJ. There's a little Patriot. I've made this ramp before. In fact, I got a whole video on it. And if you're a Jeep fan, I recommend you chip it. Card up in the corner. Look at the front of that Patriot. Look at the lights. Okay, let's close it. Oh. <clears throat> Should have done anyway what does that vehicle look like to you it looks like a damn next-gen cherokee right it looks like the logical progression from the xj cherokee i know i know the patriot what in the fancy fork you can't buy class jesus um what was i saying oh yeah it burns me that they called the what they called the the Liberty, the Liberty. What we should have done was this should have been the third gen Cherokee. It goes the SJ in the 70s, the XJ in the 80s and 90s. And then this should have been the spiritual successor. Should have called this a Cherokee. Should have called whatever we were calling the Cherokee a Liberty or a Compass or whatever else. Um, I have a whole video on it. My sister has one of these. They're actually really good cars. The 2.4 Multi-Air is a really good motor. It's not fast it's not overly efficient but it just is reliable it's good enough 
uh, on gas to be serviceable and still relevant today. These Jeeps have cool styling, in my opinion, the round lights, this very stylistic hood that's very Jeep, in my opinion. You still got your um, trapezoidal wheel wells. I mean, it is a Jeep through and through, and in my opinion, it could have been a Cherokee through and through. It's a cool, great vehicle. It suffered from uh, Jeep not doing particularly well, well, Chrysler not doing well, um, post Daimler Chrysler, uh, as well as 2008 recession, bankruptcy, all that crap. Uh, it is one of many Chrysler vehicles that didn't get the fair shake it should have. Uh, they, they made it until uh, 17 or 18, but it just never took off. My cousin actually has one of these as well. They're great cars, man. I want one. They make a five speed. It's kind of weird. It's like the newer Civics that's up here instead of down there, but still very cool. And they had some cool features. You can get ones that very much like the Cherokee again. When you open the back, they had speakers right here. I think they called it the beach edition or something like that. And uh, they'd flip down and it was for tailgating, chilling out at the beach. Got your speakers out there bumping. I like the Jeep Patriot. Also, it's called a Patriot. What's not to like about that? If you God fear Americans like me, right? Um, some of them, you know, most of them did have a steering wheel. This one didn't. That's no problem. Anyway, point is, they're, they're pretty good cars. My sister has one. I mean, she uses it as a damn pickup truck. She lives out there in Montana. She's got a big old bear of a dog that pretty much lives in there. Anyway, Jeep Patriot didn't get a fair shake. Should have been called the Cherokee. Whatever. Moving on. Let's look at the ZJ and then go home. Oh, no big deal. Well, RCA. Guess this guy was an audiophile. Okay, somebody was, uh, oh, this is real old. What year is this? This is probably about 94, 95. Boom. 95 free OBD. No big deal. Huh. Interesting. I didn't know this. Is Are all ZJs like this? When you put this forward to put this down, the headrest had to come off, so they gave you a place for it. That's interesting. On the WJ, the headrest just folds down. ZJs have the best seats that any automaker ever put into an automobile. All right, I'm not going to sit on these because it looks like um, Bigfoot took a crap on this seat, but these seats are the most comfortable. The bolsters are perfect. All right. Oh, they're they're just perfect, and they kind of look like the uh, Among Us guy, right? Huh? See, I'm not old. I'm still hip. All right, I'm gonna go home now. Today was a useless day in the yard. Outside of making some videos, what? In the... Oh, that's the anti-bug stuff. I thought it was green coolant, but like green, green, not yellow, green. Whatever. That's another. That's the other Patriot we're looking at. This Dubba J. Some pretty gnarly drilled and slotted on it, which is occasionally a sign of a um, an individual who uh, some nice new shocks on it. Actually, another world. I might take those shocks, but I'm not really that motivated today. And like I said, I'm not stocking up on parts right now. We're gonna coast on our parts collection for the next few years. Okay. Sure. Okay. And nothing too special on this Dub J. Pretty standard fare. The Far Leader, a newer alternator, which honestly, again, if I was in parts collecting mode, I'd probably grab. Uh, there's a Liberty. So here's what I think should have happened. You go SJ Cherokee, that's the full frame one, then XJ, that's the one everyone knows. The Liberty, again, this is in that video in the corner up there. Oh, that better not be my mother with another Jeep problem. Nope, some random number. Uh, went XJ Cherokee, and then the next generation after that is this. In the United States, they called it a Liberty, but everywhere else on the planet, this is the third gen Cherokee. Then when this one went away, they should have replaced it with that Patriot right there. That's what I think. That would have made sense. The round lights, the styling is the same. If I had to guess, that's probably what they were uh, originally gonna do because the styling is so similar. It doesn't make any sense that they're different vehicles and somewhere along the line, some marketeer decided that wasn't the way to go. So 
Nice little helmet right there, a little executive producer, no big deal. What's this? Suburban. I used to really like Suburbans. I'll leave it there. Now, don't want to stick around this van too long. I have to drive home and I don't really want to catch a contact high. Oh, no, that's not good. Oh. Huh? Oh, that just means it was uh, booted, I guess? I don't know, let's get out of here. Allentown, you leave a lot to be desired. I'm sorry to anyone who lives here. So I'm guessing if you live in Allentown, you're probably not watching my videos. All right, I'll catch up with you back in the car. It just occurred to me, we didn't see one classic car in there. Uh, we didn't even see any American sedans. I guess that little section from the last video was all they got on American sedans. So I'm gonna creep on this thing real quick. It's an old DeSoto, which was the, um, I'm pretty sure DeSoto and Dodge were the entry levels for Chrysler, right? DeSoto and Dodge. And then when you got a little more money, you got into a Plymouth. And eventually you'd buy yourself a Chrysler. Is that how that was supposed to go? Uh, I think the only company that really nailed that model, um, you know, was, uh, was GM, right? GM, the whole idea was, you, you know, your first car is a Chevy. When you, uh, you know, have the first kid or, you know, you get the raise at work, you go out and get the Pontiac. And if you really make it in American society, you get to get the Cataract. Uh, that was the idea. Form, elate, that's what car brands, American car brands were trying for in the, 40s 50s 60s they wanted it to be this progression so that you were born a gm guy and no matter what your needs were there was a gm for you you worked your way up from the chevy to the pontiac the cadillac ford or uh yeah ford had um ford lincoln mercury right so i guess you probably start in a ford work your way up to a mercury and if you really made it you get a stinking lincoln uh yeah and then chrysler desoto dodge or a couple others in there, Plymouth. Um, I'm sure I'm forgetting some. Oh, Pontiac was in there for GM, right? Maybe that was it. You started with a Chevy or a... You started with a Chevy, went to a Pontiac. I don't know, what am I yabbing about? I think I lost my key in there. No, I didn't, thank goodness. Cause of all the places to be stuck, this is not one of the ones I want to be. It's not one of the ones I want to be stuck at. So, we didn't get our coil. But I did get two videos out of it. We didn't see any classic American muscle, but again, we did get two videos out of it. So, by all means, if you like the video, like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Leave me a comment down in the squawk box. Let me know about what we saw today. Uh, the one that confuses me the most is that Tacoma. It was a newer Tacoma. I didn't check on the year, but it couldn't have been, had to be between like 02 and 06. Uh, seemed clean. The manual trans seemed like it had some life. Motor didn't look beat on so i don't know you guys let me know um and then yeah a bunch of jeeps let me know what you think about the patriot go check if you're a true jeep fan if you're a casual fan need not apply if you truly love the jeep brand the way i do go watch my video about um what jeep should have done I, I think it might have been it might not have been a whole video about that maybe it was five times jeep got it wrong or something i don't know um and let me know what you think should the patriot have been the spiritual successor to the xj or Am I just yapping? Well, I'm yapping, but I could also be right. So, yeah, that's it. As always, thanks for watching.